We are talking about the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him. The reason why I say it in the English language is because many people who do not know the Arabic term need to know what we believe about the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him, Isa alayhi salatu wassalam. The Quran has mentioned or named several surahs after either the mother who was Mary, may peace be upon her, of Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, or the family known as Ali Imran and in fact there is another surah known as Al-Ma'idah which means the laid table and that laid table cloth is connected to what Isa alayhi salatu wasalam brought from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so there are many such surahs in the Quran and uh, chapters in the Quran we need to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given us the truth we would also like to mention what we spoke about yesterday Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared the mother of Jesus, may peace be upon him, very, very carefully. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepared her by her prior to her birth being dedicated by her mother for the place of worship and for ensuring that she will be dedicated. She had made this promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not knowing that she was bearing a female child. But when the female child came, they fulfilled the promise. She was born an orphan, meaning the father Imran, who was a very, very pious man, had passed away. And Imran had a record for being a very, very upright man, a very, very good sheikh. He used to lead the people in prayers and so on. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Zakaria, who is the uncle of Maryam or Mary, may peace be upon her, was the one who brought her up. And he was responsible and we learned yesterday about the life of Zakaria and what happened. As a result, she was also a very, very pious girl. She grew up, Allah gave her lots of wisdom, lots of knowledge. She learned under the tutorship of Zakaria, alayhi salatu wasalam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about various miracles that occurred when she was still very young. As she was being prepared for something very, very great to happen. One of the greatest miracles of all time was to happen to Mary, may peace be upon her, Maryam alayha salatu wasalam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about what happened. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ وَطَهَّرَكِ وَاصْطَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Earlier, when she was still quite young, growing up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a message to her via the angels and the angels told her oh Maryam Allah has chosen you purified you from all polytheism Allah has made you one who will worship him alone so you are pure in every way purified in your reputation purified in your character and conduct but above all purified in your worship it will not be rendered for anyone besides your maker and Allah has chosen you above all the women of your time. Subhanallah. Ya Maryam, qunuti li rabbiki, wasjudi warka'i ma'ar raki'in. Therefore, O Maryam, we want to inform you and instruct you. Submit unto Allah. Uqnuti li rabbiki. Submit for your own Rabb, the one who made you. And find yourselves from the ones who bow down and from the ones who are prostrate solely to their maker. So Allah says, ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِيهِ إِلَيْكَ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the news and the information of the unseen that we are giving you. We are telling you the true version of the story of Mary and Jesus and Zachariah and John and so of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after some time, she continued to worship Allah. And she was very pious. And she had her place of worship within a place of worship, her own corner and cubicle. She had a cubicle in the sense that there was a partition between her and those who would come from her members of her family. She was in her own corner. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, thereafter, we called out to her again. In fact, in one place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Maryam, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَرْيَمْ إِذِنْ تَبَذَتْ مِنْ أَهْلِهَا مَكَانًا شَرْقِيًّا And remember, in the book, the story of Mary, 
may peace be upon her Maryam alayha salatu wassalam when she took a place for her own worship within the place of worship she had her own cubicle towards the west it was sorry it was facing the east it was facing the east makanan sharqiyan it was a place facing the east so she had a little corner by the eastern window and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَاتَّخَذَتْ مِن دُونِهِمْ حِجَابًا She had had a hijab or a curtain between her and her family members. She was worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Her family members on the other side, as we know, we have cubicles sometimes in the corners of the masajid where people want to engage in i'tikaf and they want to spend time dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says she had had her place. فَأَرْسَلْنَا إِلَيْهَا رُوحَنَا فَتَمَثَّلَ لَهَا بَشَرًا سَوِيًّا We sent the angel Jibreel or the archangel Gabriel to her in the form of a handsome looking man.